what's up YouTube fam, Brandon Weaver here once again. All right, so I had an individual who emailed me. You can email me with your questions, put them in the comments below. You can get your questions answered and get the support with me and the team. But an individual emailed me about the 30 day window, the 30 day response time, those 30 calendar days. Individual said, hey, it's been 30 days since I sent the letters. Do I send the non-response letters? Well, they have 30 calendar days to postmark your response from when they get the letters, from when they receive the letters. You have the tracking on the certified mail. This way we definitely want to have that tracking so we know when they get these letters. So if you send the letters out on the first, their timeline, their clock doesn't start until when they get the letters to postmark your response. So, you know, you're thinking, hey man, this is taking a little long, you know, what's going on? They have 30 calendar days from when they get the letters to postmark response. So that postmark might be at that 29, 30 day lim that limit, and you still might be waiting on the mail for a few days, right? So you just wanna make sure because if you send a non-response letter a little early and you wind up getting stuff back and you got a bunch of deletions and you're disputing things that are deleted or gone, right? These unverified items are gone. The bureaus might look at this and say, hold on, well, we, already re we already investigated this stuff. We're not going to investigate these other things that may quote unquote still be you know, on there that they were trying to play this game and trying to push back. And so you get all these other deletions There's some other things that might have to be kind of cleaned up. You know, one or two left. And you're thinking, uh, the bureaus are thinking, oh, well, <laughs> we're just not gonna look at this stuff at all. Now, they're supposed to, they're supposed to, okay? If you demand a, an investigation on something, a reinvestigation on something, they're supposed to, but they'll use any little trick they can to try and not investigate. In fact, I just had a friend who came to me and said, hey, I was looking online to dispute this, and this person's information was actually um, stolen. I mean, it was used by somebody else. Um, fortunately, they didn't get far. They only got some hard inquiries got put onto my friend's stuff. They didn't get any lines of credit or anything. They didn't get, they didn't get far. But these hard inquiries are on there and uh, my friend goes online to say that these are not theirs, that she can't do that. They, they, they can't put that it's not theirs because they're disputing online. Okay, they're disputing online and the, the online system with the bureaus is not letting this person say that it's not theirs. But you can do that. You can dispute that. You can dispute unverified items if it's not yours because it was stolen. All these types of things. So this is why we say do it through the mail even if it takes a little bit longer. Okay, it's the way that you can get to the other side with your credit repair journey 609 creditrepair.com or we can do the work for you at the awesomelifegroups.com please give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe try button and until i see you in person i will see you on the other side take care